In this video, we will show you how to record motion and facial capture data as Unity animation clips and play them back using animator controller and timeline. We will use our previous VRM project as an example. You can download it here. For this tutorial, we'll need to use this plugin, which you can find the download link in the video description. Here, we have downloaded the necessary files, the dollars mocap, VRM project, and the Easy Motion Recorder plugin. Let's extract them. After extracting, we'll copy the Easy Motion Recorder directory from the Assets folder of the plugin into our project. Then, we'll open the project. Once the project is open, let's start by opening the previous scene. Then, we'll add the Easy Motion Recorder prefab from the Easy Motion Recorder prefabs directory to the scene. You'll notice it has three components player, recorder, and facial expression recorder. We won't need the player, so we can disable it. Now, let's take a look at the settings in the recorder component. Press R to start recording and X to stop. The animator field is used to select the animator we want to record animations from, we'll drag the VRM model into it. The other options can remain unchanged. This time, we also need to record facial expressions, so let's check this option. Next, let's start the project. Press R and you'll see that recording has begun in the console. We can use the dollars mocap to play a video clip. All right, let's press X to stop recording. Remember to end the recording before stopping the project, or the files won't be exported. After recording is done, you can find the data files in the resources directory. One is for body animations, and the other is for facial expressions. Let's try playing the facial expression animation directly. The body animation can't be played directly at this point. We need to select it, right-click in the inspector, and choose to export it as a humanoid animation. You'll see that an animation file has been generated. We need to make a few adjustments, set all these options to Origin, and check Bake into Pose. Next, let's duplicate a VRM model from the current scene. Remove the motion capture and facial capture related components. Let's first demonstrate how to play animations using an animator controller. Create a new animator controller and double click to open it. In the base layer, drag in the body animation. Then, add a new layer and drag in the facial animation. Set the weight of this layer to 1 and keep other settings as they are. Add this animator controller to the VRM model. Run the project, you'll see the character moving. Now stop the project and we will demonstrate how to use the timeline. Open the timeline window. Remove the animation controller from the model. Select the model and create a new timeline asset. Add an animation track. Add our model to the animator. Place the animation clip into this track. Select this animation track, right click, and choose Add Override Track. Drag the facial animation into this track. Let's move the original VRM model slightly away.
you can drag in the timeline and see the character moving. Run the project, and you'll see the timeline playing the animation smoothly.